Hello and welcome. I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well today. So before we get started, uh, I'm going to be dealing with a subject matter that is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Right, disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. These are my own opinions based on intuitive numerology and messages that I receive. Alright, so today I'm going to be looking at the Gilgo Beach serial killings case. And I'll be looking at it from a profile by numbers point of view. And I've picked up some interesting sequences in this case um, that alert me that there is more than one person involved in this case. Alright, so let's get into it. I'm going to start off by looking at who was Rex. And he was born on February the 12th, 1964. Now, let's just look at the year that he was born in, 20, and it gives an outcome 2. And you'll note the 2 underneath. I've written there, this guy was very emotionally unstable, in my opinion. There is a mass of 2s in his profile. So, 2 from the February, 2 that the year that he's born in, but it's a 22. So, huge emotional outburst potentially there. And I would imagine... Now, obviously, I'm looking at this on a negative aspect because we are dealing with a negative event. Rex certainly did not have control of his emotions. And I would imagine that his uh, EQ is very low. Um, and I believe he was delinquent emotionally and could not relate emotionally to any, any other human being. Let's put it that way. The 12 3 that is born in the day control issues and even women issues. Then we have the combination of the 12 3 from the day he is born and the 2 from the month, which gives us the 14 5. Here is where we find the bullshitter, the liar, the group of boys in a little band or group together type person. Quite capable of doing that, being in a group, uh, doing all filthy things. And it also tells me older men, younger girls and boys. So here was a pedophile type uh, right in the mix here. And uh, sixteen seven. now that's what we would look for in the serial killer number, sixteen seven. That's a serial killer number. Now that, so if you wanted to break it down, the one is the person, six is the human, and seven is the death, or the violent death, or the injustice of the death of a human, the serial killer. So I'd like to focus mainly my attention on the first four people, and the first one being Maureen Barnes. And uh, I've had a look at each of the four women's date of birth as well as the days of their kidnapping and murders to see if we pick up a trend um, and what we can reveal about um, each case. So Maureen was born on June the 14th, 1982. So I'm just going to point out a few things about her date of birth in relation to the case, not necessarily just on her profile, but in relation to the case. We have first the 14.5, which for a woman uh, born on 14.5 would deal with um, um, advances from boys and men. And in the main, it would be older men um, that would be her issue in the day. Like when she wakes up in the morning, she will be, and let's say till midday, she will be dealing with issues of uh, unwanted advances by older men in the main. Uh, the year that she's born in 1982 is a 22, which matches the 22 in Rex's uh, profile on the right-hand side there. Now, the 11-2 in the middle there, and, um, I, you know, to be quite honest, I haven't gone into full depth of who the women were in what they did, their background, childhood, the whole his history of them. But I can tell you, um, I mean, I know some about each, but the 11-2 that sits in the day for Maureen is a very power number. 
and coincides with the two that the year that she's born in. And I just wanted to highlight this was a woman focused on her family. And I would say it would be more about her immediate family as well as her extended family. And that would include the six that the June that she's born in, very family orientated person. Um, and of course, in her situation, she would do anything to look after her kids. Okay. And I believe she was uh, pressing me to say that, that she would do anything for her kids even if it meant sacrificing her own dignity. Um, and she has a life path 13.4. Um, I would say that although she's very family orientated capacity for a wider group of friends, she would be very much an internal closed group, uh, mom, you know, like mommy bear type person um, and wouldn't necessarily... Um, be walking the streets by choice, obviously, right? Now, I'll read what I wrote here while uh, putting the slide together, and it pertains to the, uh, from where we see the last scene on date, July the 9th, 2007. So Maureen, on the day of her disappearance, was surrounded, metaphysically speaking, by sevens and nines. Now, you'll see I've grouped the sevens together and the nines together. And we have, unfortunately, the presence there of that 16-7, 16-7, double 16-7. And with the triple nines, was a it was detrimental day. There was an overload of numbers on that day. In this case, serial killer numbers, the 16-7, coupled with murder, mass of nines. In murder cases, nine often pops up. I get the sense there were more than one person involved here again, a group 10-1, where we see that on July the 10th. And there was certainly a discussion after kidnapping her about her kidnapping. That's 17, 8 and the 9. So there was definitely a discussion amongst people here. And that's why it, it tells me there was definitely more than one person involved. Almost feels like a catch and come watch to see what happens in VART. And I've picked this up on the other cases as well, that in, in most cases it feels like the person is caught or kidnapped, possibly taken somewhere else, and then there's a show. And that is similar to the case that we see in the Black Dahlia, the Elizabeth Short case that I did. It has the same kind of situation where it's ritualistic in nature because a group of Dirty old men come to watch a young woman or girl, in, in some cases, uh, be tortured and maimed as viewing pleasure or as part of a ritualistic evening out, if you like. And I've picked this up on a couple of these cases. Um, there's definitely a coming together of two parties, 11-2, at which time the murder could have taken place, 18-9. So what I'm seeing is June, so July the 9th is when she's captured. Then July the 10th is the ceremony or ritualistic invite party moment. And then July the 11th is when the actual death murder takes place, unfortunately. Um, but I'm definitely getting more than one person involved here. Or there could be one person doing the capture uh, but there's certainly more people involved um, during the process of this ritual, is what I'm picking up here. And in the case of Melissa, uh, born April the 14th, 1985. So the numbers here for her, also 14.5, 14.5, is that unwanted attention by males, and in particular older males. And unfortunately, she had double of those. She also had a bit of a detrimental year that she was born in. All those fives would not have bode well for her. And she was then reported missing July the 12th, 2009. Uh, what concerns me on that day, we see the 1910-1. So there was definitely... So when this person woke up, whoever kidnapped her, woke up with a 12-3 day, that's all about... Kidnapping, taking control of, with the intention 1910-1, one, 
with the outcome 21-3, which is a detrimental number in murder cases, I believe. That we see that there is a death the following day, July the 13th, right? The 13-4. And interesting, the 22 is highlighted there, which is a mass of emotions. Um, so again, I'm picking up at least two male perps involved here, 14.5. There's definitely groups around here again with that 22 even. Um, and of course, there, there's a pattern here that where there's a capture, there's a process, and then there's the death. Uh, is what I'm picking up here. In this case, I believe the death may have been premature in this case. Something might have gone wrong on this particular evening, but I don't believe the same process would have taken place. Um, I believe she would have possibly died within 12 hours, uh, which might not have gone to plan what these guys wanted um, because it doesn't have the same shape in terms of sequence of numbers as I've seen in the other cases. Um, yeah, interesting here in, in Melissa's case, what I did pick up, the next evening, the two perps or more were in a public place, a bar even, could be a nightclub, but I, I feel more of a pub or a bar type environment uh, with that 23-5 celebrating their recent murder, the 21-3 and the 14-5 groups. So these people, whoever were involved with this, had the audacity or still had the audacity to go celebrate and cheer and celebrate a death of a young person. Completely disgusting. In the case of Megan, uh, she was born January the 18th, 1988. And we do see in relation to the case, the 189s are quite detrimental. Uh, if we look at it from a negative, however, it can be very positive. It can be higher, higher learning, um, deep sense of self, being, um, she could have definitely worked in the spiritual world, absolutely, and talk about it. Um, now, in relation to her case here uh, with Megan, June 6 was a detrimental day with a flux of same numbers, the sixes and the threes, okay? Very violent day, unfortunately. The sixes, they're all those sixes is violence, very violent. Um, the three is all about abuse and control in spades. There's a mass of threes. This case tells me there was more than one person involved here as well, the 12-3 and the 14-5. I believe the people also involved were police, law enforcement, the number seven on June the 7th. They were at the scene at the time of the murder. After they arrived on the scene or alternative location, only then did the murder take place, 13-4. Made to look like the serial killer, 16-7. So there's an interesting outcome there as well. There could have been masking of this crime, but in this case, I'm picking up definitely police involvement here and obviously also pings directly on Rex. And the fourth person, Amber Costello, uh, born February the 10th, 1983. What's, what's interesting in her numbers, um, unfortunately, she also has the 21-3 in the year that she's born. Um, but interestingly there, she has the triple threes, which is also an overload of threes for her. And you'll notice the red block there, 12, 3 plus 3 gives us the 15, 6, and we see that on September the 3rd. This, that day, pinged directly on her. With all those threes, the 15, 6 pinged directly on her. The, and unfortunately, the terror Amber experienced should never be experienced by anyone ever that took place on September the 3rd. Mass of four threes. The sad thing is she lived through it all and died the following day, 13-4, from the torture and the pain and what she went through. And I was in doubt whether to reveal that, but I believe Amber wanted me to say that, to say that what she endured. Again, a ref to law enforcement, a reference to law enforcement, higher ups this time, I believe not necessarily patrol police or foot police or detectives. 
but I believe higher ups in the law, in the judicial system, in the law circle, uh, were involved as well here in this case. So, which actually then raised a point: what is the court case uh, going to be like? Um, knowing that there is possible um, judicial officials involved in the circle of friends, the group of dirty old men in the 14, 5 and 15, 6. It always seems if the information is shared afterwards as well, the 17, 8. And I'm just wondering, how is this information shared? And I don't believe it's just necessarily verbal but i believe there could even be handover of materials for people to view later or they paid for a particular video for example but there's definitely more to it than just a serial killer in these cases is what i'm picking up um, so two significant threads ritualistic practices and rituals and the reason why i say that um, there's significant evidence of precise date and timing choices um, the choices of days of kidnapping and deaths, the, the numbers there are so, it's almost perfect. Do you know what I mean? So it almost was, they, they chose these days specifically to do their crimes. And also during the capture until the end, the cycles of death and the cycle of process is very similar as well. There is significant evidence of groups involvement. This group could be a club of sorts, secret society types. Law enforcement were involved not only in blocking the case, but took part in these ceremonies. And I believe the cops were at those ceremonies and also picking up the potential victims under fake or false arrest claims. There are higher ups in law that are involved here as well. The capture of the person was only part of the process. This person would then be presented to the group. It reminds me of the movie Hostel. So I can tell you now, these were terrible, terrible situations these women found themselves in, unfortunately. But the reason why I did the video, I was looking at this case um, a little bit earlier, a few months ago, rather, let's say. Um, but now that there's been an arrest, I mean, away for like six months. What's definitely striking about this case, there's definitely more than one person involved here. I don't believe Rex was the only operator. And I also believe police were definitely involved here. We know they were blocking the case that we all know. But I believe they were at the crime scenes committing the crimes themselves as well. And three, there are definitely higher ups involved here in the judicial system as well. So I hope the court case goes well. And I do believe there are a lot more um, victims, unfortunately, involved here. I know there are currently 10 uh, people uh, linked to this person, Rex. I'm going to do this as a part one and get to the rest as soon as I can. Uh, but I'm definitely seeing patterns and ritualistic behavior. And there's patterns, systemic systematic patterns and processes that have been taking place here this is i don't believe this is a straight serial killer case um, it comes across as serialistic because many people have been killed but they are being hunted and used in ritualistic practices before they are murdered all right thank you for watching and um, please take the time to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay alert.